Let's get you more perspective on the famine and food security concerns in Africa. I'm joined live in Nairobi studios by Jacqueline Rioba. She is the Associate Director of World Vision Humanitarian Affairs. Jacqueline, thank you very much for joining us. Um, so we've been hearing about food security concerns in some of these countries for months, if not years. Mm -hmm. uh, have local governments and the international community acted swiftly enough? Honestly, um, there's still a lot that needs to be done by local governments and the international community. If you look at currently the East Africa region right now, we were at the same situation in 2012, 2011-2012. And the only uh, sad thing is that the number of people that were affected then has increased because their coping mechanisms has gone down. There is a lot that both national governments and the international community can do. One of the things that re results in recurrent drought is the issue of the effect of climate change. The climate change has impacted Africa big time. We are seeing erratic rainfalls across the country and across other countries within the region. And this has resulted to less production of food. Africa mostly rely on, rely on rain-fed agriculture. And if enough efforts are not done by the international community in terms of mitigating climate change effects, then we'll continue to see ourselves where we are right now, even in years to come. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that needs to be done. How can we adapt to, to what, what there is now? Can we do adaptation so that we take into consideration um, the effects of climate change? Right. Now, we saw lack of swift action when it comes to the Ebola crisis in West Africa. And six years ago, there was criticism of a lack of action when it came to Somalia. So what does this say about the current international systems? The current international systems, unfortunately, are going to get even more complicated because we are seeing an increase in uh, scenarios of armed conflict. Conflict is already making a bad situation worse. So the humanitarian actors need to step back and see what they can do differently, what we can do differently in order to be able to understand the nature of the crisis. For instance, in Somali, conflict plays a big part. In South Sudan, the same. South Sudan is a very arable country mm. that should be able to produce enough food to feed and even export. But that's not the case because of the armed conflict. So this is a call that there needs to be more thinking, more strategic engagement to see how we can better address the issues of conflict and then this will pave way to address the other underlying causes like food insecurity in these nations. Mm -hmm. yes. And what can ordinary people do to help? What's needed? Ordinary people can do a lot. Um, right now we have people that are starving, literally. We have children that are malnourished, that if nothing is done immediately, they can even die. People need to contribute to this cause. Mm -hmm. People need to give. For instance, Wild Vision has an appeal of $16.6 .6 million. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we want to do is to start um, or scale up our nutrition emergency program so that we are treating children with severe malnutrition and preventing those with moderate malnutrition from becoming severely malnourished. We want to ensure that farmers and other people that need water access water. And right now, they need it as a basic commodity. They need to access clean, safe water for themselves as well as their livestock. So you and I and other people can contribute to, um, for instance, World Vision has a hunger-free campaign where we can contribute to this cause mm -hmm. by giving from where we are sitting through our mobile money um, system to be able to, to reach out to the most affected people um, that, are, that are affected by the drought. Jacqueline, thank you very much for talking to us. Jacqueline Rioba in studio with us. And for more details on how you can help international organizations battle famine and food insecurity in several African nations, go to www.africa.cgtn.com to look at the options available. You can also visit our Facebook page. This